Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, been a minute. Um, I've been really busy. Um, haven't been able to work on projects or props anyway. Um, been working on other stuff. Um, cleaning house actually. Um, cleaning up my shop which has been a wreck for a while. It's been uh, driving me a little bit crazy. I'm sure it's probably dri driven some of you guys crazy just to see it. It's, it was, it's really really bad. Anyways, I've cleaned it up some. Maybe give you a quick look before we uh, get into what I'm working on. This is all cleared up. I moved that dry erase board. Everything was sitting on the dry erase board. It's back there. It's actually not going to stay there. I'm going to mount it on either this wall or on this wall. Haven't decided yet. Um, I moved all that stuff off of there, cleaned that all off. Um, it was covered in dirt and wire wheels and other stuff. Moved it all over here, which is just temporary. I got some shelves I'm going to be picking up soon kind of reorganized and stacked everything back in these boxes or those are all projects of, of mine and then uh, kind of cleaned up this whole nasty area redid what's on these shelves kind of reorganized cleaned everything off all that's reorganized again the bench is clean and clear and uh, organized my paints are all put away finally they like half of them were sitting over here half of them were sitting over here and then a bunch were sitting over and the container in here, stuff everywhere. I had stuff all over here. This was all cluttered up with boxes and stuff. Um, kind of organized my tools a little bit better. Yeah, so that's that's a huge improvement. Um, I am I was way overdue. The floor was covered in wire wheels. I mean, covered. It was almost like carpet, um, just from cleaning all those hails and the MG eighty ones and stuff like that. I just burned up a ton of those things and they all the wires went somewhere so just pretty much most of them were on the floor but a lot of them were on the on the uh, work surfaces and stuff like that so I'm glad I got it cleaned up so anyways uh, I'm gonna get into the uh, the Hoth binoculars they're sitting right there behind me and uh, I'm gonna do a little bit more primering um, but I need to prep a part and that's gonna make a mess so before I get into it let's get that part ready Thin neck guys don't look here, it's just a necklace Obi-Wan. <laughs> I, I actually think it looks kind of neat without a neck, but more to come on that later, not in this video. Alright, so the part I need to deal with is this tube. I gotta remove the glass and all these internals because it gets in the way. It prevents this from sitting in the right place. It just isn't going to go over anymore. So I get to smash it. Say that work. I gotta get rid of this stuff and clean up this edge.
it's ready. I kind of boogered up this side, but you don't see this end of it anyway. So we slip it in here. We can push it through, and we don't see that end because it's on the inside. Most importantly, we can fit this all together now. So now we're ready for primer. All right, all the parts are primered now. Voila. Um, you might be asking me what this is. This is a uh, humidifier fan um, from a humidifier I accidentally broke the tank of, and I shoved some polyfill in here, and I'm using that kind of like, kind of like a spray booth fan. Basically, it just sucks air in. The polyfill catches the particulate of the, uh, the spray from the primer or paint, and just catches it, pulls it out of there. Um, it actually works surprisingly well because it was very foggy before I started it up cleared it within a couple minutes it seemed like so pretty happy with that um, and it's not very big I can just tuck it away real fast um, I could probably even spray directly into it if I wanted to or build a box around it another day maybe so the next step is gonna be painting the, these parts a base color of white uh, not just any white I'm gonna use the uh, archive X paints um, I would use spray paint, but it is under freezing um, outside and I will not spray paint inside. It's just awful. The fumes are incredibly strong. Um, even with this, I don't think I'd want to attempt it. Um, I have a good majority of the Archive X paints. Um, and I gotta go through and pick out the different colors like the reds and the grays, but the, the base color white is just gonna be the reefer white. Um, it's probably going to take quite a bit because this is kind of big for like a model, I want to say. Uh, it's got a lot of surface area. So, but anyways, that's what I'm going to use. Um, white or any kind of light color. Um, that'd be whites, light grays, um, yellows, um, lighter oranges, any, any light color. It's a little bit more difficult to put down evenly. It's real easy to see strokes and stuff like that, but with the weathering and um, all the, you know, a little bit of chipping I'm going to do. I should be able to hide some of those things, you know. Um, so, it'll be interesting. We'll see. Anyways, let me dig out the paint.
three for white. Wow. I just realized I haven't drilled any of the holes for the screws or dealt with any of the assembling um, hardware. Um, so I need to do that now before I do any paint. <sighs> All right. So what I see, is I got a screw here, here, here. I don't see this hole on here. I see a, a Phillips screw here and another Phillips screw here. So I'll have to get those screws. I see a screw head here, which I don't know if there should. Hold on. I got another picture. See, that one's pretty straight on. Um, Screw here. There, there, there. Phillips, Phillips, slot, slot. So the only one I don't care about is this one because it gets covered up. Everything else gets a screw. Okay, dug a couple of screws out of my little bucket of random screws, so they're vintage. <laughs> and I have all the screws uh, accounted for, except for the ones that go on the hood. I need four of those, so I gotta go to the hardware store and get those, because I don't have anything like that. All right, so in my cleaning and reorganizing the shop, I moved my power strip that was on my bench and mounted onto the side. Unfortunately, the drill press power cord will not reach that far. So, no drill press tonight because I have to go buy an extension cord or another power strip or something like that, which I don't have. So, I'm going to I'm going to put this off until tomorrow and uh, I'm going to call it a call it done for this video because that's enough <laughs> anyway um, hope you enjoyed this um, check out the blog propchopshop.com and uh, I'll see you in the next video